Do you know this guy abused me? In the sense that he slaps me and he beats me outside like publicly. Hey, so much that you he's not you are not, not your brother, you're not married to him, he's not your brother, and he has the right to hit him public for that matter. Ipen Studios presents her true awakening talk show. Hello everyone, welcome to her True Awakening talk show. My name is Imo Victoria Chidima. If you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please do well to subscribe. Follow us on all our social media platforms, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, at IPEN TV. There's a particular book by one of our beautiful and amazing sister, Glory Chidera, rich yet spiritual. spiritual being spiritual is not a license to be poor if yeah. you have not gotten that book please go, <laughs> go and go get, and get it. it the link will be in the comment section or it will be displayed on the, the screen. screen today again we have with me Elizabeth, okay. I'm going to be talking about something very, very beautiful. You look beautiful today. Oh, I'm lucky. Thank you, ma. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about navigating relationship, setting healthy boundaries, and friendship. Ah. But before that, let me just quickly clear something. Being an independent lady, being a purpose-driven lady, try to get your career and everything is not a license for you to be rebellious. It's not a license for, for you not to be submissive. Even the Bible says that you should be submissive to your, your husband. husband. Because now I know our gender now. <laughs> I know them. Because they're not saying, oh, you must be independent. You must do this. No, don't take this from that. Then when your husband says, no, don't do this. I say, no, this is not And the point is, he said submissive to the husband not to the boyfriend okay we have to be submissive to our husband not our boyfriend i'm not saying we should be oh. um mm. adamant to our boyfriend but the submission should come in the place of marriage when you're with your husband yes in as much as no man wants to marry a liability no man too wants to marry a woman who is very rich wealthy and rebellious so let's go right into our topic, topic. for today wow navigating relationship setting high demand you know i don't i don't know but i don't really like talking about this relationship with him because i I, I love but it but we cannot we cannot avoid I wish, it though. we have I to wish, talk about i wish it. i had this knowledge why i was growing up hmm. growing up for me i had a boyfriend you know i had someone that was dating and a lot of this because there wasn't any ld boundaries between us do you know this guy abused me in the sense that he slaps me and he beats me outside like publicly hey. and hey. The, it's not as if i hey. don't know how to reciprocate Jesus. but the thing is that i was trying to be submissive and you know no, that, how would you i don't even think that i think that was i we were trying we were being like should i say foolish or something <laughs> <laughs> that was huge but that it's not because i was foolish but because I was still naive and I was yeah. still ignorant. I was very and he took slit. advantage of that. Yeah, I was still small and and the most important thing was because I felt like he loved me and I loved him. And most you the felt, thing, the most, you say you felt like he loved <laughs> you. The most important thing was that even when he, he, he abused me, like he uh, he slaps me, he will still tell me that it's because he loved me. So hey. I have this mentality hey. that whenever he Jeez. beats me, he just to correct me, you know. And I was still going back. to his younger sister. And it's because there was this uh, emptiness, this void of love. I never mm. had, my parents was yeah. not there to give, me, to give me this love that I wanted, you know. I, I felt emptiness inside of me. People around me. Well, I want to ask you, were, were, you, not, were you living with him? <laughs> I wasn't living with him. He's just my normal boyfriend. So how how does he beat you? How like we meet now? We you meet. Know, you beat you? Not really beat. Like I I actually remember a scenario whereby I walked out of him. He was saying something. I and I don't want to respond. I literally walked out. This guy came after me and gave me a dirty in, slap in public. In public, like. Hmm. I couldn't, I didn't even know what to say. And I saw myself, like the way we, he dragged my phone with me and he smashed it on the floor. Ah, My phone, he smashed, even to now that phone safe, eh? hmm. <laughs> it is well. But I feel like, but now that we are 
No, let Thank you go. God no God guy will do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, sometimes we experience this in order to teach younger ones there was no what boundary. is ahead of them. So now how do we now set boundaries in in relationship to avoid this kind of thing? Because this is disheartening. Somebody that you, he's not, you are not, he's not your brother, you're not married to him, he's not your brother, and he has the right to, in, in public for that matter, he'll call you, you know some guys, you, slap you, some talk guys. to you anyhow, you know, for <laughs> just to talk to the person anyhow, safe. It's, it, that one is enough shame, talk more beating the person. I feel like they are, it's his family background, the kind of family he grew up from, mm. the, the door is an Isoko guy, so the does this kind of thing they feel like they don't want to see this guy literally goes through my social media platform and no guy i don't they, they don't bo they don't bother me where to chat any guy like he's so like overprotective to the extent that he knows my password and everything i'm okay with that but no guy is, is allowed to chat me up so if you like because i'm yeah because i'm beautiful the uh, guys will be chasing after me so it's um, you are beautiful <laughs> like over security is unsecured kind of person mm. so that's just why it's like that yeah. but i feel like before we get into the relationship we should have created a boundary yes because you know you know what we're from different backgrounds yes everybody is the way they're brought different. up yes the way we are brought up is totally different the way you were trained is totally different from the way we are trained. Yeah. and you two different people coming together the, you have to be boundaries you have to set certain boundaries tell the person what you like and what, what you, don't you don't like, like. yeah you, you get maybe if you had and he, he took advantage of your weaknesses he knew that you had this void that was yeah missing. this uh, you, were, you were craving for love, love hey. so he now felt like okay because you're craving for love and you've loved him already so no matter what he does he like, can go scot scot so how did, wait how did you even break out how did you how? Like ending it? <laughs> how i broke out was was really marvelous to me because i got fed up at a point of time because this guy and he did not say he did not threaten you that he was going to he be. did but that was something else but i literally broke up with him through the grace of god i didn't even know he, he literally said he's not doing it again and i didn't he, beg him he said he's not doing it again i, I didn't beg him although something led to okay. that but Let, let's just talk about <laughs> boundaries what are the boundaries that we need to set in relationship i feel like before i should enter into a relationship mm. i should have told this person this is what i like this is what i don't mm, like yeah, exactly. this is what i do this okay I will, I will not tolerate this i will not tolerate this i think what i started what caused that was i have started it from the the very first day he slapped me i should have reciprocate i should have just turned up and not mm, i'm yeah. telling him i'm not interested but i still went on and moved Ooh, on and yeah, still count it as a normal thing see. that's why it continued all over again like and he ever. forgot his hand on your face exactly <laughs> i i thought if had it been the bandages of I, i'm not allowed to be beaten no you cannot yes. beat me you will have known that ah this one they know they touch this one no. uh -huh. so those kind of bandages we should set it even before entering relationship mm. we should have known that okay this is the limit you can come or this is the limit time you can call me this is the limit time something like that that's just what i felt so telling him what you like what you don't like as yeah a what else what other boundaries i feel that there are other boundaries that we need to set like not going to live with him mm. before he's married married because that's cohabitation yes. I, I don't i don't see the reason why you should be living with a guy who you are not married to so it's not even godly and some people not give you excuse and what, because she doesn't have house to say where were you what? staying before he met you let's share you the were family actually, you were actually staying somewhere so a guy that is not married to you you don't have to go and live, live with, with him. him and no. you shouldn't tolerate any disrespect from a hmm. guy I mean disrespect when a guy shouts at you. And it starts with, in public. Don't, in I don't public. know why guys do this thing. Most guys are very, like, they are very vulgar when it comes to that. I thought maybe their background or something, but I feel like it's not normal. You mm. shouting on a lady in public, the, I'm and walking the one out. That you love. <laughs> Somebody that you love. Okay. If you actually love someone, you will treat them right yeah. you will respect them you will respect the boundaries that they give to you that's just it
I wish we can continue, but we just have to wrap it up here. We have limited time because there are a lot of things that we still have to say. When it comes to the issue of relationship, it is why. why? It is really, really why. There are a lot of things in about relationship that we need to know. We yeah. need to, and if you're ignorant of these things, you might end up missing it. So it's a wrap on this particular episode yes. of her true awakening talk show. Do want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on all our social media platforms. Thank you all, we love you. We love you. <laughs>